In the anterior cranial fossa, you can see the foramen cecum, the anterior ethmoidal foramen, the posterior ethmoidal foramen, and um, uh, the cribriform plate of the ethmoid. Through the foramen cecum, an emissary vein passes from the nose to the superior sagittal sinus. In the anterior ethmoidal foramen, you have the anterior ethmoidal vessels and nerves. In the posterior ethmoidal foramens, you have the posterior ethmoidal vessels because the nerve terminates earlier. And um, in the foramen and the cribriform plate of the ethmoid, you have um, the olfactory nerves. In the middle cranial fossa, you can see the optic canal. And below the lesser ring of the sphenoid, you have the superior orbital fissure, um, which is right over here. And then you have foramen rotundum, ovale, spinosum, the foramen lesbrum, and then on the petrous temporal bone you have the internal acoustic meatus. And then you have, so this is the jugular tubercle, and above this jugular tubercle you have the jugular foramen, and below this jugular tubercle you have the um, hypoglossal canal. The optic canal transmits the ophthalmic artery and the optic nerve. The superior orbital fissure transmits many cranial nerves like the upper and lower divisions of the oculomotor nerve, the trochlear nerve, the abducens nerve, um, the lacrimal frontal, the nasal, the nasal ciliary branches of the ophthalmic nerve, and um, the superior ophthalmic vein. The foramen rotundum transmits the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. The foramen ovale transmits four structures, M-A-L-E, male. So um, these are the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve, the accessory meningeal artery, and um, the lesser petrosal nerve, and an emissary vein. Then you have um, foramen spinosum. The foramen spinosum transmits the middle meningeal vessels and the meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve. The foramen lacerum is related to the internal carotid artery and its sympathetic nerve plexus, which cross its upper end, as well as the nerve to the pterygoid canal. And the structures that are actually passing through it, um, these include the meningeal branch of the ascending pharyngeal artery and an emissary vein. Behind the foramen lacerum, you have the carotid canal, which transmits the internal carotid artery and sympathetic nerve plexus. In the posterior cranial fossa, you can see the foramen magnum, which transmits the medulla oblongata, the meninges, um, the vertebral arteries, the anterior and posterior spinal arteries, the spinal root of the accessory nerve. Then you have the jugular foramen, which transmits um, the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, and the accessory nerves, um, the inferior petrosal, and the sigmoid sinuses as well as the meningeal branches of the ascending pharyngeal arteries and the occipital arteries. And lastly, um, the, mast, uh, the hypoglossal canal transmits the hypoglossal nerve.